you trying to compare my marriage with you and Alan? Your father and I were married for 35 years, had two children, and a wonderful life together. You have the nerve to compare yourself to that? I'm talking about the loss. What loss did you have? You fooled around with some boy. Where do you come to compare that to a marriage of 35 years? You think it doesn't? Come on, Arnold. You're not talking to one of your pals. I lost someone that I love very much. So you felt bad. Maybe you cried a little. What do you know about what I went through? 35 years I lived with that man. How dare you? You're right, Mom. How dare I? I? How could I possibly know how it feels to put someone else's clothes into a trash bag and watch a garbage man take it away? Or what it feels like to forget and set his place at the table? Or how the food is rotting in the refrigerator because you have forgot how to shop for one. How dare I? Right, Ma? How dare I? God, strike me dead. Whatever I did to my mother to deserve a child speaking to me this way. The disrespect. I only pray that one day you have a child and that he'll open up a mouth to you like the one you opened to me. How dare you talk to me this way? You had it easy, Ma. You have all of those years to remember. I have five. And you had your children and your friends to comfort you. I had me. And none of my friends wanted to hear it. They said, what are you griping about? At least you had a lover. And you, you lost your husband in a nice, clean hospital. I lost mine out there. He was killed on the streets. 23 years old, lying dead on the streets, with his head bashed in by a bunch of kids with baseball bats. Killed by children. Children taught by people like you. Because everybody knows that queers don't matter. Queers don't love. And those that do get what they deserve.